So do you guys, I want to show you guys one of the saddest things that literally, not over exaggerating, but one of the saddest things I have seen in the faith community. All right, let's just watch this for a second. So the Bible says the sum of the that the sum of the law and the prophets is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, right? Love your neighbor as yourself. That is the sum of the law. That is uh, the first commandment. Uh, now here's the thing. To love God with all of your soul, with all of your strength, with all of your mind, is not something you can say fast and get away with it. Like a lot of pastorals will say, well, it's easy. All you have to do is love God with all your heart, right into your soul. You know, they say it so fast that the requirement isn't there. No, it's love God with all of your being, the entirety of your being, without ceasing forever. And if you say you do that, you're lying. So he says, if you say that you love God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your being, that you're lying. Okay, so let's let's finish what here in this for a little bit longer. So here's the thing: I don't teach not to love God. What I've been saying is that you don't. <laughs> I'm not saying don't love God. I'm. So he's saying that. We don't love God. And this isn't, you guys, I've already dusted my feet off from uh, David Benjamin in Christ. And obviously he's deceived. This video is for educational purposes, just as it's labeled. But here in Second Timothy chapter 3, it says, you must understand this that in the last days distressing times will come, for people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, inhumane, implacable, implacable, slanders, profligates, brutes, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, Holding to the out. Now this is what applies to him. Holding on, holding to the outward form of godliness, but denying its power. See, in this, a common thread in the mentality of the, the hyper grace community, you guys, is that they do not understand, realize, or believe the power in the blood of Jesus Christ and how it can renew the mind. And they don't understand that when the scriptures say, resist Satan and he will flee from you, that they, they don't understand what that means and they don't believe in it. Because they say that you cannot keep or follow the Ten Commandments. You guys, the Ten Commandments are a decision. Now... If you break one of those commandments on impulse or in your mind, you know, these are the things that you can work on with the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus says, be perfect as my Father is perfect. It's a road. God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit want to see that we are trying to do this. Okay? And here in Luke 10, it says that, I mean, that's so sad, you guys. He says, you don't love God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul. Like, you can't do it. And let's read this for a minute. Just then a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your, all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. So what David Benjamin and Christ is saying here, by him saying this, first of all, not believing it, but just by saying it. He's saying, by saying that, what you're saying is, Jesus 
said this to set us up for failure as if it's not possible now you guys it says love the lord god with all of your heart with all your soul you see we have the word your here okay so what it's saying is okay even if people in the beginning of their relationship with god are not meeting the true definition of love the love with no um stipulations love with no bounds loving somebody no matter what you know like how jesus has loved us um if you're doing it with all of your what's inside of you with all of your strength that's what it's saying here love the lord god with all your heart with all your soul so are you using everything that's inside of you all of your strength to love the lord to follow his ways to wor worship him worship him means it, like a, a kind of way one of the ways to worship him is to follow everything that he says believe in it follow it put it into practice do the things that he says that's worshiping him you know like when when people say you know oh that that guy you know somebody will be a guy will be dating a woman and they'll people will say oh yeah he worships that woman that means he does whatever she says, you know, he does anything to please her, you know, et cetera, et cetera. That's what we should be doing with God. So he doesn't, these, some of these people, you guys don't even believe and understand how you can love God with all your being. They don't think you can follow, keep the commandments. And remember, you guys, keeping the commandments means to protect them and to guard them. It doesn't mean that you do it without flaw, right? They don't understand these things, you guys. This is so sad. This video right here is proof of a deception that they're in. Saying you don't love God. You don't love him with the entirety of your being. Be Again, Benjamin, David, if you see this, speak for yourself. Okay, and I pray for you, Benjamin David, that you can understand the truth. And more, I I pray also, Benjamin David in Christ, that you, that when the when the tribulation does happen, that you're not so, what I pray is that you be given the spiritual blessings, graces, and gifts to choose good in the end. To not be so mad at God when you figure out when you see for yourself that you had everything wrong, or m most things wrong, I should say, um, that you still choose good in the end. That's what I pray for you, because I love you. Because the only person who ever did is Jesus Christ, because he is from the Father, and he knows the Father. And I don't think that's... I, I don't think that what you said right there, I don't even know if that's true, if that's in the Bible, that Jesus is the only one who loved God. I think that's something that you're, like, adding in there. I'm pretty sure. And he was with the Father. And he has been given as our substitute. So the reason we needed a substitute is because we fell short of the glory. We didn't love God at all. We didn't seek him at all when we were Gentiles. But now that we are saved, we still are growing in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. And yes, that produces a love, but that love is not from us. That love is from God. It is the love of the Father for the Son. Okay, and I want to talk about this too, you guys. Our, our mind and our 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 mind and our body you guys we are created by god that's how we were able to talk and go about is he breathed spirit he breathed life into us without that we're we're just a body and and our mind is like an antenna you guys we can pick up and hear things and it's either from it's either from the father it's either from good it's either from the light or it's either from the darkness. Our mind picks up things, right? And then we act on those things that we pick up in our minds. Are we going to choose darkness or are we going to choose light, 
right? But you guys, here's the thing. What uh, with what he just said right there, um, is that you can only love um, God because of because it comes from God. And here's the thing, you guys, us being created in God's image and likeness, that means a lot, you guys, okay? We are made in His image and likeness. And how God spoke things into existence, He spoke the world into existence, He spoke us into existence, we have that same... Um, we have a, 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 a power and a spirit like that too, because that's who we came from. We came from God. Okay. So you do because out, because you out of the free will of your body, of your heart, of your mind, of your spirit, of all your being out of your free will, that is you, because you're made in God's image and likeness, you can out of the free will of your heart, love God. And that was the whole that's one of the main, the the biggest things about what happened in the garden, you guys, is because Adam and Eve were created and they were perfect, right? Their, their soul was united with their body, right? They were perfect. They, they knew nothing about evil, okay? But now that we know both good and evil, right and we're coming to god out of the free will of our hearts out of our own desire because we want to because we are choosing to do this out of the free will of our hearts to follow him with our faith okay so we humans can create things because they are made in god's image and likeness that's one of the reasons People don't realize what we are, you know, they, they, I mean, you guys, it's, it's being a human being is, is a greater thing than most people think and understand, you know, a lot of the world, they'll tell us, oh, we're just a speck of dust, you know, and this and that, you guys, we are more, we mean so much to God and being made in God's image and likeness, you guys, is no joke. And the angels and the people, the entities in heaven and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and all that, they don't think it's a small deal either. You know, it, it's a very big deal. So yes, you can love God out of the free will of your heart. Free will.